HP is coming out swinging with the Envy X2, $1,149, a detachable 2-in-1 tablet with an included keyboard and stylus. We were impressed with the Qualcomm-powered version of the Envy X2 for its excellent battery life and comfortable keyboard, but we bemoaned its terrible performance and app compatibility issues. Without those limitations, the Intel version of the Envy X2 is an intriguing device, but it's a tablet that is ultimately let down by other glaring faults. Design Adopting the aggressive design of the Envy laptop line, the X2 is a silver CNC machined aluminum slate with stylish chrome trim. The rear of the tablet has a rough, sandy texture that is easy to grip and does a good job resisting fingerprints. HP's modern logo is centered on the back of the rectangle, below a thin chrome line that traces the rear-facing camera. A metal and chrome mix gives the X2 tablet an undeniably premium look and feel, making it a good fit for business execs. Unfortunately, the elegant design doesn't translate onto the front of the device, where the 12.3-inch display is bordered by thick black bezels. Durability is also a concern, I notice the tablet's frame flex when applying pressure to its top edges. The Envy X2's accompanying keyboard attachment lets you use the detachable as a traditional laptop. The keyboard covers polyurethane leather case comes with a deep blue color and matching chrome HP logo. If only the case were as practical as it is beautiful. The X2 lacks a rotating kickstand and, instead, folds into only two positions when in laptop mode. I found myself adjusting my posture to get the display at the optimal angle, which proved frustrating when video conferencing. The case converts into a protective folio, but to line everything up, you need to detach the tablet from the magnetic strip and move it into the joint before closing. I'm nitpicking here, but constantly reconnecting the tablet onto the keyboard can get annoying. I also wish the pen attached to the tablet with a magnet instead of a fabric slot on the keyboard. Lapability or how comfortable a device is when used on your lap, is an issue with any detachable tablet, but it's especially troublesome with the Envy X2. When my palms weren't weighing down the deck, the Envy X2 had a tendency to tip backward. And although the strong magnets tightly locked the display into the deck, there were times when the keyboard stopped working because the Envy X2 still thought I was in tablet mode. As frustrating as they are, these issues are overshadowed by a glaring flaw with the keyboard trackpad. While typing this review with the tablet on my lap, I discovered that pressing my palm down on either side of the deck engaged the left and right click buttons, making me inadvertently highlight blocks of text or open the context menu. If you plan on using the Envy X2 on your lap, this is a deal breaker. Ports The Intel version of the Envy X2 has a USB Type-C port on each side for charging and connecting to peripherals. Oddly, the Snapdragon model has only one USB Type-C port. There is also a headphone jack and an SD card slot on the left side and a nano SIM port on the right, next to a volume rocker. The power button is positioned on the top right edge of the Envy X2.